All right, so good afternoon. I thought I'm going to make a video about the uh, warning system. That is that buzzer for the seat belt, the lights, and the key in ignition. And um, this would be the part number 0045450732 is mostly used on those cars. And as you probably know, on a lot of those cars, that buzzer will buzz and buzz and buzz as soon as you put the key in the ignition. And it won't stop until you put the seat belt on. Well, that was not how they were designed. And I want to show you this real quick here. We have two power connections. Let me zoom in. We have for one on pin number two, um, a switched contact, which is the key in ignition that will activate the system. And then when it is turned from the in position over to run or start, that's when the signal actually comes. It has one ground connection on eight, which is this here. And then we have on uh, four and one, we have a normally closed switch from the seat belt. But these units were not designed to run continuously if the seat belt is not activated. And when you open them up, you will find a potentiometer right here on the side. And the board has three capacitors, which I have already replaced here. And the culprit for this thing not going off is this little capacitor here which is a 100 microfarad, let me see, 100 microfarad, 16 volts, I won't zoom. Well, anyway, that's what it is. This one was bad. And when they go bad, uh, that thing will go on constantly. So what I did now is you can see this, I have a number eight to ground. I put a number two, this, the key is basically in the ignition now. And then these two clamps go over here to the meter. Uh, current setting 500 milliamps, I just used it because it basically replicates the normally closed seat belt switch. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply, uh, which is equal to turning the key into the run or start position. And then you will see what happens. See? Oops. And I can adjust now the length of time with this potentiometer here. And I had a heck of a time finding a screwdriver where I can actually turn this. See this? I cannot turn it with it, but um, let me just see if we can turn it by hand. No, of course not. Uh, let's see if this one worked better. I may have to put my oops yeah, we're still recording we're still recording sorry for that little accident here I'm going to put this here for the moment and then see where we are let's see if we can get this adjusted yeah so I turned it about halfway up now and now we should be able to see this. And here. Hold on. And off it is. So you can vary the time. Let me zoom back in here. You can see this now. This is the position. If you go counterclockwise, it will shorten the time. And if you go clockwise, it will go in the other direction and it will lengthen the time. And that's about it. All you need to do is replace the capacitors. With that, you have a great afternoon.